Greetings, my lovable weirdos, and welcome to another episode of Transformation Thursdays. As you can see, our settings kind of changed again, which is part of the reason why there's such a long gap between the last video and this one. Yes, I went on vacation with my family, but when we came back, after getting sick for about two weeks, I also kind of renovated my room. Um, so I have more space now to do this in my room instead of outside in the living room by the litter box which is where I was doing my videos before. Speaking of the last video, I want to thank all 10 viewers for watching it. Um, I don't know why you guys aren't excited as I am about turning into mashed potatoes. Maybe because it's one of my favorite foods and it's not yours. In which case, what is your favorite food? I'm actually kind of thinking about trying other food things that I could turn myself into. Um, cotton candy has been a big one that I've been thinking about. Is it a food? Is it a snack? Dessert? It should be its own food group. Stay hydrated folks. It's really hot and really humid in Singapore. And hydration is good for your skin. This week we're not turning into food. I've been thinking of a way to introduce this week's look and I really can't think of anything. Possibly because my mind is blank and not thinking about anything, and I'm kind of spacey. Spacey. Space. Moon. There's my introduction. This week, I want to do a moon child look. If you have no idea what a moon child is, um, apparently, a moon child is someone born in the month of June, July, within the months of Cancer in the zodiac calendar. But a moon child could also be someone who's kind of just moon and love good. <laughs> That's what I think of when I think moon child. Um, I also think of this one other person. Her look actually kind of greatly inspired the look that I'm gonna try to go for this week. But I'm not gonna mention her name because in the process of planning this look and this video, I looked up her name to try to learn how to pronounce it because I can't pronounce it or couldn't pronounce it and unearthed a lot of really unpleasant um, rumors, I guess, uh, although it seems to be substantiated so maybe it's not rumors, um, unpleasant news surrounding this person. I'm not going to mention her name because I don't support what she's apparently said and done. I don't agree with that at all. But if it turns out that she's completely innocent and I'm wrong, I'll admit that in a future video or Instagram post and then I'll mention her name. But if you follow South African music, I don't even know what kind of music this is actually because I've never actually heard their music, but I've just seen pictures of her. So yeah, if you listen to South African music, uh, I think it's like underground rap, you'll know what, where the inspiration comes from because her look is very, very distinctive. Before we start, I am going to need to put in contacts. Ta-da! Oh, let me just say, that took a lot longer than I thought it would because I've never worn sclera lenses before and oh my gosh, it's so hard to get into your eyes. I don't know if it's because my eyes are tiny or I don't know. Speaking of scleras, I got these which are surprisingly comfortable now that they're in my eye um, at Unixo, which is U-N-I-K-S-O dot com This is not a sponsored video I have nowhere near enough followers <laughs> Like people don't, like my last video had 10 views um, So yeah, I don't have anywhere near enough followers or viewers to have sponsors But I do really like this website um, because it's just across the causeway in Malaysia so whenever I place an order it usually arrives pretty quickly and they always include a lot of gifts in their packages like I the last order I placed was for these a couple of fancy crazy lenses and a couple of colored ones as well and a wig and they gave me like an auto lens cleaner, they gave me even more free contact lenses. Some of them came in a pair, some of them came like as one, so you could like try different colors and see what you like. And they gave me like eye drops and a whole bunch of contact lens boxes. And little tweezers. I've never used tweezers before, but they're really good for getting your contact lenses out of the little vials that they come in. Um I'm sniffly because my eyes got really irritated when I was trying to 
put this color lenses in but they actually are not bad once they're in i've had like daily contacts that felt worse than this so thumbs up for unique soul lenses and these are one of the few lenses that i found where they will put power power they will put your prescription um in the lens so like i've my right eye is negative 1.00 and my left eye is negative 1.25 which is not a lot but when i take off my glasses everything seems really really blurry and i can't tell features so yeah they put my prescription in for me um it's a little bit of an added cost but not as much as what you'd pay for at like other us sites where you'd pay like over a hundred dollars for just one lens i think it was like 170 something um for both lenses so yeah, that's better than paying like 400 bucks for two lenses, right? So, you think so? Go check them out. I think they're having a sale right now because Halloween's just around the corner. If you listen to underground rap music, you must know who I'm channeling. Let's do the hair as well because I want to extend the makeup up to my hairline as well. For the hair, I'm actually going to channel Rey from Star Wars or a little bit of Rey. I'm not going to do the doubled up ponytail that she does i'm gonna actually do try to do space buds like see if i can fit three or four and start a little bit higher up than she does see how it goes space buns all right um go ahead and prime your face however you prime it and then put foundation over that I've already done that to my face, although you can see where it's getting red from where I started tearing up. Never mind. And then we're going to go back to our Snazaru palette that we used in the very first transformation video. Take a makeup sponge, dip it in some water, and then go back to that white face paint. I'm just going to put it around, dab it around the hairline. I'm not bringing it down to the rest of my face it's really just gonna be along the hairline if you made a mistake like i did and brought too much white down just use the other side of your damp sponge and kind of wipe it away and redistribute the face paint i'm gonna go ahead and put some on my ears as well i'm making this up as i go but i think it'll look nice on my ears some white as you can see i'm not bringing it all the way down i'm just covering about half my ear while I'm waiting for that to completely dry, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and just bring some of that white up into my hair. Like not all the way back, I kind of want it to like just gradually fade into my hair. While I have my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil out, I'm just going to cover my eyelids with that and smudge it out. It's gonna be like a base for the rest of the makeup. Don't worry if it's not neat. It doesn't have to be. I'm gonna take an angled brush and go into my Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. It's gonna be a really shiny look. I'm gonna take Galaxy and just put that over my eyebrows. I can never get them to look the same, so I'm not even gonna try. Next, I'm going to go to my NYX Ultimate Palette. I'm going to take the lightest shade of purple on that and put it into the crease of my eye. Going back to the Moon Dust Palette, I'm going to take Magnetic and put that over the purple that we just put on our eyes. I'm using these shadows sparingly, except for my eyebrows. Just, you can go crazy with the amount of eyeshadow you want to put on your eyebrows. But I'm not going that thick with the eye makeup because I want this to be quite a light look because that's usually what I think of when I think Moonchild I think light, glittery, glowy, spacey Next I'm gonna take Lightyear and just dot that in the middle of the eyelids I'm just gonna use my finger for this then I'm going to take Vega, this nice blue color here, and I'm going to put it right next to the green. Again, I'm just going to use my finger. 
Then I'm going to my Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette. I am going to take Amethyst, which is this nice light purple, and I'm just gonna fill in whatever I haven't filled in yet. And I'm actually gonna go over the blue and green and kind of just blend it out using this highlighter. Now I'm gonna take Emerald and I'm gonna put that just under my eyebrows and I wanna bring a little bit down into the inner corner of my eyelids as well. Now I'm just gonna line my bottom eyelids with the NYX Jungle Eye Pencil again. Try to coat your bottom lashes with this as well. And like we did with our eyelids, we're just gonna smudge that out. If you can tight line your upper eyelids with this as well, go ahead and try that. I'm gonna try to do that and see how that goes. Next, I'm gonna take the sapphire shade and just kind of layer that on top of the white eyeliner that we just smudged. I'm just dabbing that on top of the eyeliner instead of using a brushing or stroking motion. So silly me forgot to press the record button, but what I did was basically take my ColourPop liquid eyeliner in Graceland and created a really large wing just on my upper eyelids. So whichever method works best for you, go ahead and do that on both eyelids. I kind of have to use both hands and squint in a mirror, but just apply your eyeliner the way you apply your eyeliner and make it a really large wing. To finish up the eyes, I took these Daiso fake lashes, um, which are actually made of paper, but they're kind of fun because they come in different um, shapes like these. These are stars. Um, and they're actually originally black. So what I did was I took my white liquid eyeliner and just colored over that like you would with a marker. Just color. Actually, you could probably use a marker. Um, just color over that. And then I took the sapphire shade from my highlighter palette and just dab that on. So these are gonna be my false lashes. You want to be careful when removing the lashes from um, its holder thing because it is made of paper so it's very very fragile. Carefully lift it off the plastic otherwise you're gonna have like half a lash. I just dropped my lash glue. Put a bit of glue on there, wait for it to get a little tacky, and then put it on your eyelids. Uh, almost kicked over my hydrating liquid. For the rest of the face, we're actually going to make it very, very shimmery. So we're basically going to go crazy with the highlighter. Taking several big fluffy brushes, I'm just going to play around with this combination of colors because I want to go for that holographic look all over my face and also into my hair, which is why we had that white eyeliner that we smudged into it earlier. So basically, have fun. Try different combinations of colors, like maybe blues next to greens or greens next to purple, because purple and green are complementary colors. And there's the pink there that I haven't touched yet, which I don't know if I'm gonna touch because I don't have pink anywhere else. Um, but we'll see. I'm taking some of the highlighter and just dabbing it on my space buns too because I want them to shimmer and shine Where's that from? Don't forget your ears as well That's the entire reason why we put white on them in the beginning um, Just play around the colors Play with the greens I really like greens next to the purples um, But you do whatever you like Lastly, I'm going to take the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade of Witches and put that over my lips. Once you're happy with the shape of your lips, go back to that holographic highlighter palette and do the same thing with your lips that you did with the rest of your face. Just play around with the different shades of highlighter. And when you're done, you'll have something that looks like this.
and that's the look um, if you're wondering what I did for my hands I just went over it with the white face paints just the fingers and just down to the top of my knuckles and then I went over the ends of my fingers with the same shade of Galaxy from the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette that we used on our eyebrows earlier. So yeah, this is it for this week's Transformation Thursday look. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I hope it inspires you to go out and create your own moon child look. You don't have to use scleras if you don't have scleras. I know not everybody does and not everyone likes putting them in their eyes. I know why now, because it's so annoying too. But once they're in there, like I said, they're pretty comfortable. I had to go and put eye drops like a couple times throughout this video. I think about four times. So yeah, it's not too bad actually. Um, because it does cover your entire eye, it does dry your eyes out a lot quicker than normal um, contacts would. At least that's what I find because usually with normal contacts, I don't have to use eye drops at all. If you've got suggestions for looks or other ideas for things I could try, please feel free to leave that down in the comments below. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, feel free to tell me why you don't like this video so that I can improve. Constructive criticism helps me. I have a couple ideas for videos I would like to do in the coming months, so hopefully um, the video uploads will be a lot more frequent. I am finally going to try to tackle a couple ideas that you guys have posted in my previous videos. So yay! Finally getting around to that. So you see, I do read your comments and I do take them to heart and make little notes of what you guys want to see. And don't forget to ring the little notification bell because that lets you know whenever I post new videos. That's it for this week's video. So until next time, stay hydrated, love yourselves, and embrace your inner weirdo. Bye!